Welcome to DX Sudoku training video number 6. In this video, the puzzle solving technique called hidden pairs will be discussed. Consider the following Sudoku in progress. Before we talk about how to find a hidden pair, we will first discuss what is a hidden pair. Consider the two highlighted cells in the house making up row 1. Notice the number 8 and 9 candidates only occur in the two highlighted cells. This means 8 and 9 must be either in cell 7 or cell 8 for the house making up row 1. No other number is possible for these two highlighted cells. The reason this is called a hidden pair is because of all the other additional candidates located in the cells with lay 8 and 9 as possible candidates. These additional candidates can be removed because the only two numbers that can show up in the two highlighted cells are 8 and 9. The non-possible candidates are removed and all we have left is a naked pair in the two highlighted cells. Next, consider the following Sudoku in progress. Looking for hidden pairs is a somewhat tedious and laborious process. It requires patience. But many times, finding a hidden pair is key to solving a puzzle. Being good at finding hidden pairs is a great tool in your arsenal. We will cycle through each number 1 through 9. Then, for each number, we will cycle through each row 1 through 9, each column 1 through 9, and each block 1 through 9. We will start with the house making up row 1, and possible candidates for the number 1. Consider the house making up row 1. Row 1 has 4 cells having a possible 1 candidate. When finding a hidden pair, we are looking for rows only having 2 cells of the current candidate number. We need to find a row having only 2 cells of a particular candidate number before we check if we have a hidden pair. We skip to row 5 there are two cells having a 1 as a possible candidate. However, this is not a hidden pair because the house making up row 5 has four cells with a 4 as a possible candidate. If this were a hidden pair, there would be only two cells having both 1 and 4 as possible candidates. We skip to row 7 where we find two cells having a possible 1, 3 hidden pair. But the house making up row 7 has 3 cells having a 3 as a possible candidate. So the 1, 3 pair on row 7 is not a hidden pair. We can skip row 9 because it has 3 cells having a 1 as a possible candidate. We now look at the house making up column 1. There are 2 cells having a 1 as a possible candidate. But the cells do not have any other numbers in common. So this cannot be a hidden pair with a candidate 1 in column 1. We skip to column 5 because column 3 and 4 have too many cells with a 1 as a possible candidate. Again, there is no hidden pair with column 5 because besides 1, there are no numbers in common. We skip columns 8 and 9 because they have too many cells having a 1 as a possible candidate. Next we turn to looking for hidden pairs in blocks. We can skip block 1 because it has 3 cells having a 1 as a possible candidate, not 2. We consider block 2. Block 2 has 2 cells with a 1 as a candidate, but the 2 cells are already a naked pair. Block 3 has too many cells having a 1 as a possible candidate. Block 6 we already tested when we did the testing for the house making up row 5. Block 7 already has a naked pair, so we can skip this block. And finally, block 8 has too many cells having a 1 as a possible candidate. So for the number 1, there are no hidden pairs. We can now start looking at all the cells having a 2 as a possible candidate. Since row 1 already has a naked pair with the 2 candidate, then it is not possible to have a hidden pair. Row 2 already has a naked triple, so no hidden pair is possible for the 2 candidate. 
Row 7 has two cells with A2 as a possible candidate, but the numbers don't match, so no hidden pair is possible. Row 9 has too many cells having A2 as a possible candidate, so no hidden pair on this row. Column 5 has two cells with 2 as a possible candidate, but the numbers don't match, so no hidden pair is possible. Column 6 has two cells with 2 as a possible candidate, but the numbers don't match, so no hidden pair is possible. Column 8 has two cells with 2 as a possible candidate, but the numbers don't match, so no hidden pair is possible. Column 9 has too many cells having a 2 as a possible candidate, so no hidden pair on this column. We already tested block 2 when we tested the house making up row 1. We already tested block 3 when we tested the house making up row 2. Block 8 has two cells with 2 as a possible candidate, but the numbers don't match, so no hidden pair is possible. And finally, block 9 has too many cells having a 2 as a possible candidate, so no hidden pair in this block. After looking through all 27 houses, we find no hidden pairs with 2 as a possible candidate. We can now start looking at cells having a 3 as a possible candidate. We start by looking at the house, making up row 1. This time we find what we're looking for. Notice the 3 and 9 candidates in the two highlighted cells. The number 3 candidate only occurs in exactly two cells in the row. And the number 9 candidate only occurs in exactly the same two cells in the row. This means 3 and 9 can only occur in the two highlighted spots. All other candidate numbers in the cells can be eliminated. The number 4 in the first cell can be removed, and the number 1 in the second cell can be removed. We remove the non-possible candidates, and all we have left is a naked pair for the candidates 3 and 9. Before we move on to the next example of finding a hidden pair, first we'd like to point out many times when you find a hidden pair, there will be numbers on the Sudoku supporting your decision that you found a hidden pair. Consider all the numbers and candidates highlighted in purple. Notice how these numbers and candidates support our decision that we found a hidden pair in the house making up row 1 in cells 4 and 8. Next, consider the following Sudoku in progress. Again, looking for a hidden pair requires patience. We will cycle through each number 1 through 9. Then for each number, we will cycle through each row 1 through 9, each column 1 through 9, and then each block 1 through 9. The first row has no 1 candidates, so we begin by looking at the house making up row 2. The house making up row 2 has three cells having a 1 as a possible candidate, so no hidden pair with a 1 candidate on this row. We move to row 3. There are two cells having a 1 candidate, but the 7 candidate occurs three times in the house. Row 4 has two cells having a 1 candidate, but the numbers do not match, so no hidden pair with a 1 candidate on this row. Row 6 and 7 have too many cells having a possible 1 candidate, so no hidden pair with a 1 candidate on these rows. However, when we get to row 8, we find a hidden pair with the numbers 1 and 3. You may have also noticed there is a hidden 1-3 pair in block 8. Both hidden pairs eliminate the same number in block 8. Here are the candidate numbers that can be eliminated. We eliminate the non-possible candidates and all we are left with is naked pairs. 
Again, notice the numbers and candidates highlighted in purple that support our decision that we found a hidden pair in the row 8 house. Notice there is a naked triple in the house making up column 4. This naked triple eliminates any possible 1 and 3 candidates from the cell in row 8 column 4. Before we begin testing, please make sure to click on the link below and make a generous donation so we can continue making DX Adoka videos. Time to test what you have learned. Consider this Sudoku in progress. Pause the video and look for the hidden pair found within the highlighted candidate number. The hidden pair candidate numbers are highlighted in dark green. The non-possible candidates are highlighted in red. Next, consider the following Sudoku in progress. Pause the video and look for the hidden pair found within the highlighted candidate number. The hidden pair candidate numbers are highlighted in dark green. The non-possible candidates are highlighted in red. Next, consider the following Sudoku in progress. Pause the video and look for the hidden pair found within the highlighted candidate number. The hidden pair candidate numbers are highlighted in dark green. The non-possible candidates are highlighted in red. Next, consider the following Sudoku in progress. Pause the video and look for the hidden pair found within the highlighted candidate number. The hidden pair candidate numbers are highlighted in dark green. The non-possible candidates are highlighted in red. Next, consider the following Sudoku in progress. Pause the video and look for the hidden pair found within the highlighted candidate number. The hidden pair candidate numbers are highlighted in dark green. The non-possible candidates are highlighted in red. Please support DX Sudoku so we can continue making DX Sudoku training videos. To make a donation, click on the DX Sudoku channel link below. Then click on the Donate to DX Sudoku button to make a donation with PayPal or credit card. Thank you for your generous donation and support. This completes DX Sudoku training video number six. Thank you for watching.